This is going to be epic. <laughs> It's me, your host, Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Oh my god, a lot of stuff to open today. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 parcels to open. This is the mother load of hauls, and it all arrived within the last sort of 72 hours. So I was kind of saving it up. I thought I'll be able to save it up and make a really good video, and then I didn't realize how much was actually arrived. And you know what? This isn't even all of it. We've still got stuff on the way from Hasbro, and we've still got some more stuff from NECA. Oh my god. Right, let's get on with this bunch of goodies, guys. I mean, oh, and I've still got some Predators to arrive as well. My god. <laughs> so first things first, because I've got so many Predator reviews to get through, I thought, it's only right. It's only right. We need one of these for the reviews. <laughs> My head is too big for it. But it comes with all the little, I've got all the little pieces here to fix into it and stuff, but yeah. I thought I'd have a laugh in some of the videos coming up, guys, so. <laughs> There's my Predator mask. What? That's just one of the stupid things I've picked up. There's a lot of figures in here, by the way. I'm going to create so much mess in that hallway. So first things first, an action, uh, a, a couple of DVDs arrived. Well, a DVD and a Blu-ray. So we have The Gentleman, which is an amazing movie. I saw it at the cinema before the lockdown. Great movie. Had to own it. Got this on DVD. Didn't feel I needed a Blu-ray. But I did need a Blu-ray. <clears throat> for The Rise of Skywalker. And I went with the dark side cover. I went with Kylo Ren over Rey. However, that's just the slip. Underneath it is just a regular cover. So we've got The Rise of Skywalker. Can't wait to rewatch that this evening, along with The Gentleman. I'm gonna rewatch both of those. Right, onto the boxes. So we've got this first box. I'm sorry if I miss anybody's names out, guys. Um, I have got some of these from trades and things like that, or buys from the like Marvel Legends Community UK group. So I'm sorry if I miss any names or anything like that. But I will try and remember for the credits. But yes, this one especially I finally got after years of searching. Put all in After absolute years of searching, guys, I finally got my hands on a Silver Surfer for my Marvel Legends collection. Very happy to have this in the collection, guys. Oh, some great articulation. I'll be giving this the full review treatment on the channel. Comes with his surfboard and all his hands, so... I will give this the full review treatment on the channel, guys, real soon, because it's too good of a figure not to review. We'll see how it looks with all the new Fantastic Four figures. But now I have him, there's a part of me that really wants to try and find a Galacticus. Right, next box. Oh, I need my scissors for this one, this one's still sealed. Some of them I have pre-snipped because I, I didn't know what was inside. Some things, some things arrive with just the name Sorrel on them, so we're never sure if it's me or Mrs. Soup Sorrel. So sometimes we have to pre-snip them, but this one's not been snipped. But the label has been removed, so they must have put ash on it. Ooh, another chop me under. All these years later, I'm still not using a box cutter. <laughs> May I just say, I'm using the same pair of scissors I've used for the past like five years doing these videos, and they're still good. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? Oh, yes! I was waiting for her to drop in price, and then I won an eBay auction recently, and I couldn't believe how much I got this for. So, you know how much I love Harley Quinn, guys. It's the Harley Quinn Living Dead doll, and this was on eBay, and I was able to grab this for an absolute steal at just £26. Yes! I know there's an unmasked speaking version now, but I don't care. I want this one. This is classic Harley. 
Oh, it looks beautiful. And I'm going to put her up there on my shelf right next to Sam. So, yeah, I finally got another Living Dead doll. I've got three Living Dead dolls now. I've got Freddy, Sam, and now Harley. And I'm going to get the Joker to go with her, so stay tuned. If you like Living Dead doll reviews, that will be happening on the channel. Next box. This one's been pre-snipped, wasn't it? Oh, it's a predator. It's the City Hunter from Predator 2, the camouflage variant. Oh yeah. I think this was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I got this off Amazon, of all places, and it was only $22.99. It was an absolute bargain. It was from NECA Direct as well. Uh, yeah, the City Hunter. It's even got all its... Obviously, it's, obviously, because it's sealed, it's got all the accessories and things, so... Happy about that. Full review coming real soon. Is that the same one as that? No, it's a different one. So which one's that one? I've got, see, I've got this one as well, and I can't work out where this one's from. I think this might be from the Alien vs Predator Requiem series, but it's definitely not the same one as that one. Interesting. The plot thickens. But either way, brand new Predator review, guys. That'll be coming up real soon. Next box. Dust it. It's quite an old figure, Ugh. I'm surprised to have found one boxed. You know I was really enjoying over Easter the horror um, toy stuff of like the um, Grimm's fairy, like, fairy tales? Well I went ahead because somebody recommended these to me by Mezco, <coughs> the Silent Screamers from Real Masters, and I managed to find a full version, oh my god, of Frankenstein 1910, Ed Edison's Frankenstein from the Silent Screamers Real Monsters collection. I think that's meant to be like Igor or something. But yeah, looks awesome. So I couldn't resist picking that up. Somebody wants to see this review on the channel, so I've done it. The only other ones available from this series in this particular wave was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde that I would like. Not too bothered for, for, for Metrol Metropolis, but... But Dr. Frankenstein, the one we've got here, Oh, oh, it's two figures combined. Oh no, that's for the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. A brilliant and ambitious scientist ser searches for the secret of life forged from science and alchemy and born into the darkest of nightmares in an abhorrent, abhorrent monster. Now Dr. Victor Frankenstein must face the soulless creation of his unholy experiment. Features an eerie laboratory base, alchemy equipment, books and skull, a biochamber and a working door. So it comes with a nice deal, but... I want to get the Doc the, 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 the Jekyll set as well, because that actually includes two figures and an environment base with a lab scene with tons of lab equipment. I could do with that. I might try and track that down. But yeah, it's awesome to find this box, and I got it for just $15.99. Bargain. Next up, this is Amazon. What did we get from Amazon, guys? I can't remember. Oh yes, I can remember! DC themselves. So DC Direct. We're selling off some old figures and they got the DC Wonder Woman blue line figure which is like a, a pencil drawn silver variant of Wonder Woman inside. Comes in this lovely box and they only wanted $11.99 for it with free postage. Let me see because I know it opens up so let me just take off the plastic. I should be able to open from there there you go look at that for a nice collector's piece this is Jim Lee's Wonder Woman and it's from the blue line edition from DC collectibles to look like a pencil sketch drawing and you even get the nice pencil pencil sketch on the on the right as well it's not real pencil or anything like that. it's it's a, re, it's a recreation but <coughs> printed but it's, it's it's really nice and for the money it's nice to have that figure as well because you know how much I love Wonder Woman, so... Happy with that! Where can I plonk that? Let me just put that there for now. Don't want to damage that box. Next up, another delivery here. This is from Comics and Cocktails. And I'm very happy to have, finally in my collection, Spawn! 
I've been wanting a good spawn figure for years. And when I saw a review of the Mortal Kombat version, I got quite excited. And mine's the one that comes with the sword. I know a lot of people in America are getting them shipped right now and they're coming with the mace. But Kapow Toys have recently put an, a thing up as well where you can actually pre-order the mace version if you'd rather. But I think I'd rather have the sword. Comes with 22 moving parts of articulation. It's by McFarlane's Toys. The box has come a little bit bruised, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to take him out anyway. Look how good those eyes look. As soon as this ban is lifted and we can go outside, I am so going to Pontefract Castle and taking some pictures of him in the dark with, with the castle in the background. Oh my god, such a good figure. Whew, we've still got one, two, three, four, five, six to go. Next parcel. And like I said guys, this isn't even the end after these parcels today. We've still got more stuff to arrive in the coming days. So stay tuned to the channel for even more awesomeness still to come. Oh my god, he's here! He's finally here! I'm so happy! Oh, what's that? Oh, thank you very much to Rob Othman. Rob is from the um, many groups that I'm a part of and he sold me his Kermit. Kermit D. Frog from Diamond Select. We've been wanting Kermit for some time. And he even threw in an extra key ring. So thank you, Rob. I appreciate it. And this is Kermit, Bean, and Robin. And you know what? I've been dying for this because I want I want Kermit. I want his little his banjo and his little stool. And we're going to go outside and we're going to do some... The, uh, we, we're going to sing the Rainbow, Rainbow, uh, Rainbow Connection. And we're going to take some action figure photography in the woods with that bad boy. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? <laughs> Prepare for ridiculous Kermit songs and sounds when I do the review. <laughs> Next up guys, another box. What's in this one? Oh, this is, right. This is another one of those bags where I've got some loose action figures to show you that I've picked up online from my groups. So again, these are from Marvel Legends Community UK. There's some great guys on there. I love to communicate with. I'm just seeing if I can pick out the names really quickly from my chat list here. Sam Roberts, these are from, so thank you, Sam. And can I find out who the other one was right quick? I'm sorry, I can't find the name of who, who gave us the Silver Surfer, I'm really sorry. Why are there so many songs? Oh, it was Shane! Shane Rana sent me the Silver Surfer, so thank you, Shane. So these from Sam, we got ourselves an old version of Miss Marvel. It's an old Jean Grey figure, really. I wanted this one for a while because she's, she's back in this kind of costume now in the current X-Men comics. I wanted that costume for a while. And then of course we've got the Black Panther version of Shuri. From the two pack with Claw. Um, and I've even put some of my own accessories in there from the basic version of Shuri. Because I'm going to try and play around with them. So I think the unmasked head would look nice on that body. And then probably one of the hardest X-Men figures around to try and find, guys. And we finally have her in the collection. So happy. Can't wait to review. Oh my god! Yes! Grail upon grails. And then thanks again to Rob for including the little Chewy. <laughs> right, what's this one? This has come from DC directly again. Oh, yes, 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 yes. They were getting rid of some of the Funko Savage land stuff. And I couldn't resist. They only wanted 13 at 99. Should see by hallway right now. 13.99, and it's <laughs> the Joker's Beast. Now I don't actually have the Savage figures that go with this, but I'm just gonna have a play around and use this guy like we do with the Black Black series. 
and I'm going to find a Joker that looks ridiculous on top of it, and I'm going to take loads of photos. <laughs> I might even put a Harley on top of it. Oh my god, yes! Finally, guys, I've got one. It pays, it pays to sit on... You know, we've had, we've had a lot of time because this lockdown. But I have spent every working day on the internet. <laughs> and I have been sat here um, waiting for deals to pop up, lightning deals, things like that. And I've just been I've just been picking them up one after another. Uh, figure not included, it says, which is obvious because it's not in the box. But <laughs> you can get the Savage Land Joker to go with them. And there is a whole bunch of others available. Uh, but I am very tempted to pick up Ace the Bat, Bat Hound as well because I think that'd be a really cool figure to have. And from the, from the actual series, guys, I like the look of Scarecrow and Wonder Woman. Stay tuned, I might grab a couple, but probably not. I might just grab the Battle Hound. I like these, because I like, you don't get many big vehicles these days for, for action figures. Back in the day when I were a kid, every figure line came uh, came with its own commute like transport or something. And they don't do that anymore. It's like He-Man and stuff like that. They used to always come with, you know, Battle Cat or, that stupid big battle ram thing he had at one point. You know what I mean? Every line had some form of transportation. So I, I, I want to see that back. Anyway, next box. Oh yes, the ridiculously big box for the one figure. <laughs> Again, this came from DC Collectibles. Again, direct leather. Why did you put them all in one big box? Um, again, this one, I think this was $7.99 for Power Girl. We finally have her in the series, guys. Oh, sorry, Stargirl, not Powergirl. Do apologise, Stargirl. From the Justice League. We finally have her in the collection, guys. Can't wait to play around with her and take some awesome photos. And in this series, guys, I actually already have the Zatanna that I've not reviewed yet. Still trying to find that Constantine. Can't find him nowhere. I'm going to have to show you guys my hallway when we're done. <laughs> it's got ridiculous. Right, next big box. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Ugh. Don't say again, we surrender! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I love the Muppets. Can't wait to go back to Florida so I can watch the show again. It's stupid, but I love it every year. Oh yes, yeah, speaking of the Muppets, guys. We got Beaker! Beep, 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 beep. That's the big piece of Paul Styrie. Yes, I think it is. Cool idea, though. So yeah, we, have, we finally have another one. That's another Muppets. There's three Muppet sets that I'm wanting, guys. I think the third is in here. Can you guess what the third might be that I'm after? I did the voice of them just a second ago. Let us out of here! We're fixed to the box! Oh, 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 oh. Probably one of the hardest in the series to find. But I managed to get one. And for a reasonable price, the guy, the guy online sold me this. For $34.99, which after looking how much these things go for, I'm quite surprised. But I'm happy. Because this is not going anywhere. <sighs> Give me a second. It's the Muppets! The Muppet Show tonight. Boom, 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 boom. So, basically, guys, I've got a plan for my reviews going forward. I'm going to have these guys perched nicely up in the balconies of the uh, of my reviewing area. And every time we make a mistake in post-production, these guys are going to pipe up. <laughs> so prepare for the action figure skits to be returning to my videos momentarily. Because I've got a bunch of cool stuff lined up for all this. There is a reason why we've bought some of these things. So, you remember that video the other day where I kept saying hinge and I was annoying myself because I kept saying hinge? And in post production, I realized how many times I said hinge. The idea is in future, we can cut to these bad boys up on my shelf. You know, if he says hinge one more time, we're going to leave. We can't leave. We're stuck here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
We're gonna make stupid jokes and it's gonna be hilarious. So, Statler and Waldorf. And then, the reason for the Muppets Lab, guys, we've still got to set up a proper lab yet for them, but when action figures come with accessories, Beaker is gonna test them out for us. And um, I can never remember the other guy's name. Benson. Uh, so Beaker and Benson will, yeah, because Bunsen. Beaker and Benson will test them out for us, and uh, it'll, it'll look really funny when, when when you've got Beaker holding a great big bazooka or something. So we're gonna, I'm gonna be playing around with my setup, coming up with a nice new look for all my stuff, guys. So my reviews are gonna be changing back to how they, you know, when I first remember when I first started, and I was very into doing the voices and having fun. That's where I'm going back to. So hope you're prepared. But oh my god. What a bunch of figures. That is a great set of action figures and I cannot wait to begin playing with them. Can you wait for the reviews, guys? Are you excited? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. And it really helps us out and it helps me to keep making awesome videos like this. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you.